what's up welcome back to my channel it's your boy made by lungani you know what it is you know what it do make sure that you hit the subscription button and subscribe to me um i'm at 16 subscribers guys and uh that's a lot that's a lot considering the fact that i am i mean introvert some people with and a lot of friends would have been at 100 because they speak to a lot of people and some of them would have been at 1000 because they know a group of people this is to show that i am an introvert in some kind of way you know and and with 16 sub subscribers it shows that i am not that known by so many people you know but it is what it is i'm not going to trip and 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 go all out and be like oh about this no i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna be cool about it and just like be patient and wait for my time to come i'll get to 100 subscribers definitely one day not now but um it's just about content you know either way it's going to happen um i'm not about that today we're doing um today i'm doing like a story time and um please guys do subscribe like and uh, yeah share is a bit of maybe share you know so that people can come and watch my content duh. um <laughs> and comment also what you think i should be doing with what type of videos i should start doing because i'm i'm a bit confused what to do right now at this point because i started off with um skits and i was like oh that's not my thing and then uh went to do reaction videos which um picked up um, a lot of views and um i'm back to regular vlogging and personal um videos which look into the life of me my life um today i just want to do a story time about relationships and um, being single and uh, witchcraft you know so back in in primary i used to date this hun there was this girl that i used to date in, in primary um maybe i was in grade nine i was in grade nine i call it primary because it was an intermediate school because it ended with grade nine it didn't end with grade seven as a primary would it ended uh, with grade nine so i was in i was in grade nine and she was in grade six um yeah no i know but she was old you know she used to fail a lot so i dated this han for the whole year because I was in grade 9, next day I was moving to high school to go do my grade 10. So we dated the whole year. I used to love this heart. Everybody know, knew that. Everybody knew that I used to love this heart. We was like this, me and this heart. And everybody was jealous. Even my friends were jealous. They go, they used to go and hate up this girl, try to make their way on her. But she refused because she used to love me. Damn, well, that's what I thought. Um, and then came a time where i had to move to go to grade 10 and go to high school then i went to high school and um, i left her you know she was still in primary she was still to do her grade 7 and then i went to high school when i went to high school she started acting up and then uh, accused me of cheating mind you i don't cheat um if i'm in a relationship i commit myself and i become fully invested in that relationship which i was and i've never cheated on her if i don't like love you anymore i just tell you fair and square and straight and be i'm an honest person i do that i tell you straight up put it bro now we need to break up we don't do it anymore we not clicking anymore it's not working so i didn't cheat but she was accused of me constantly coming up with names every day to say yo you're dating this person yo you're doing this and that and i was like ah it's over with but the trick was i didn't break up with this heart you know why because um there was something keeping me close to her something that kept us together and it wasn't on my part i was like it wasn't on my part 
I was like, why do I keep going to this hand? And then by you, from grade 10, 11 until 12, I didn't have a steady relationship with anyone because of this hand. This hand had something on me. I kept going back to where people used to love me. The people that I wanted to ask out, they they were down for it, you know. They were they were up for it, and then and then, and then but it never happened. You know, they would we would have a thing for a week, and then just like it will disappear into thin air without me knowing what happened. And then I go back to this Han, and this Han had had a boyfriend back then. You know, she was seeing somebody. She she was dating somebody. And we didn't end things, me and, and, and this hand, mind you. We didn't end things, we were still together, you know, we were still clicking. But um, she decided that she was gonna be with somebody else. And I accepted that, I was like, okay, if she's going to do that, it's fine. But I never accepted it until this year. Remember, that, that was like 2015, 2014, until this year, 2019 when um i went to traditional healer and that's when they told me that i was poisoned yep poisoned and um they used a lot of potion on me and and i was sad bro it, it hurt me and i hated this person i don't have hate i'm a good person i can't hate a person but i hated this person because i was sick like really really sick no, I hated this person. I had resentment to say I don't want this. I don't want to see this person. I blocked her number. I used to have a number. I blocked her number. Blocked her everywhere. I don't even want to see her face now. I'm just like angry. You know? But I'm like it's whatever. If it happened, it happened. But a love potion though. That's like that's like far fetched. Just going too much. That's like. Why are you doing that to somebody else? Why won't you like to see somebody going forward with moving on with their life? Why do you want them to hold them to be with you beyond their will? That's not good. That's not okay. You know. And I was angry that it was used on me. You know. But now I moved on on that, and I'm like, I'm fine with it. You know. That's why now I'm just like single because. It took a toll on me, it took a big part of my heart in my life. It, it, it really had a big impact because um, I never done anything after that. I've never been in a solid, solid relationship after, after everything that she's done to me. It's only her. All the others that came after was like something one month, two weeks, one week, and it we never had a steady relationship. Always had up and down relationship with other people because of her, because of what she had done to me. And I didn't know that. Of course, you wouldn't know until the person confesses what they have done to you. Um, and that's it. That's why I'm still single, bro. And I'm like, um, if somebody can be able to do that, then you don't trust people that easily because people can hurt you so much they can hurt you to a point where you're like mm, i never expected this person to do such a thing to me but it happens it's life and then what's what's important is that we learn from these things um we never expect them to happen to us but if they happen to us then that's when you start taking action you start taking action to say that's a learning curve no I have to be extra, extra vigilant and extra careful of what I do in the next few, next few coming years, days or time, you know, so that the same mistake can never happen again. And know, um, yeah, this is just it, bro. I uh, just wanted to share that um, with uh, with you guys. Make sure that you comment like and subscribe i don't know if this video is long enough to say 10 minutes but it is what it is mm, that's my story you know and i am single i'm still for the street anyone who wants to come to me my dms are open i'm taking dms i'm joking um 
but yeah but i'm still i'm open for a new relationship a new chapter you know to start with somebody else other than that person because she's a bad person you know for doing that you know but i don't know why we should do that you know that's what i'm confused though but uh, it is what it is till next time shut sure.